Finally, we get text-to-speech model that beats 11 laps. It's open source and free and runs on CPU in real time. So let's hear. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north, general of the Felix Legions, and loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife. And I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. As you can hear, it sounds pretty clean. And the fact that it's free and you can run it locally, it's truly mind blowing. So here on the GitHub page, you will find all the info how to install it. But for now, we will just uh, use a web version to test it. So I opened the Hagen Face website. Here we have this uh, text to speech model and we have pre installed examples here like we have reference text, the reference audio, and the text we want to generate. So let's hear the audio, how it sounds. So I'm live on radio and I say, well, my dear friend James here clearly, and the whole room just froze. Turns out I'd completely misspoken and mentioned our other friend. We have our uh, text to generate is uh, my name is Dave and um, I am from London. So let's run and submit it. Um, my name is Dave and um, I'm from London. As you can hear, it sounds pretty clean. Uh, it sounds like a reference file and it's pretty good. So let's uh, test it with some other prompts like I will paste this text and you'll hear the result. State of the art voice AI has been locked behind web APIs for too long. New TTS Air is the world's first super realistic on-device TTS speech language model with instant voice cloning. As you can hear, it sounds great, perfectly copies the original voice we have. So pretty nice considering it's open source. Okay, let's try and use another reference audio. So I found this uh, sound effect. Let's listen to it first. This is the V of Vendetta. Let's run the same exact text here. Let's hear the result. State of the art voice AI has been locked behind web APIs for too long. New TTS Air is the world's first super realistic on device TTS speech language model with instant voice cloning. As you can hear, it sounds exactly like a reference audio, so it's pretty nice. It sounds really clean, which is impressive. Okay, let's run the test with another text. For example, with this one. Let's hear it. So perhaps you've generated some fancy text and your content that you can now copy and paste your fancy text in the comments section of funny cat videos, but perhaps you're wondering how it's even possible to change the font of your text. Is it some sort of hack? Are you copying and pasting an actual font and so as you can hear it sounds pretty nice also the voice have emotions as you can hear but also it generated one word which was not supposed to be here for some reason it added and in the end and i don't know why but we can just cut it out right so okay now we will run a test where the voice is completely different access granted and let's uh, generate the exact same text we have here. Let's hear the result. So perhaps you've generated some fancy text and your content that you can now copy and paste your fancy text in the comment section of Funny Cat videos. But perhaps you're wondering how it's even possible to change the font of your text. Is it some sort of hack? Are you copying and pasting an actual font? Access granted. As you can hear, it changed the voice a little bit, but perhaps it's because the sample is too short for it to handle. So as we can see here, it says three seconds, but in reality, it's just about one second of audio. So to have a better quality, you need to have a sample of audio at least like 10 seconds, seven seconds. And it will be good because here, as you can see, around one second of sample and it's not copying it perfectly. 
But anyway, it sounds kind of great because it's actually copied the effect that was on this reference audio, so it's also nice. So let's test something different this time. I found an audio of woman speaking French language, so let's just drop it here. I already dropped the reference text, so let's see how it will understand it and also how it will translate it to English. Let's use the same exact text here. So perhaps you've generated some fancy text and your content that you can now copy and paste your fancy text in the comment section of Funny Cat videos. But perhaps you're wondering how it's even possible to change the font of your text. Well, it copied the French accent, but as you can hear, it cut the last sentence for some reason. Well, we can rerun it, of course, but I don't know, maybe when you use one language as a reference and then translate it to another language, it's not uh, working as intended. So let's rerun it and see. Maybe it was just a mistake. So perhaps you've generated some fancy text and your content that you can now copy and paste your fancy text in the comment section of Unicat videos. But perhaps you're wondering how it's even possible to change the font of your text. Is it well, I don't know why it's cut in the last sentence, but still it sounds pretty great at this point. And the fact that it perfectly copies the accent. Okay, let's uh, try to paste here another text with the same voice because for some reason it's cut and maybe it's just the problem of this text or something, I don't know. So let's submit this text. Well, guess what? I forget to record, so I pasted this text, so let's hear it. The Economist is a British news and current affairs journal published in a weekly print magazine format and daily on digital platforms. As you can see now, it sounds good. It doesn't have artifacts repeating the same words. So it's pretty nice. Uh, now we know that it can copy the voice of any language and actually use it to generate speech in different languages. So it's pretty nice and impressive for a free open source text-to-speech model. It's actually insane. If this video was useful, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel to learn new things about AI.